Well, I've been speaking about the um, global and the European regulatory responses to the financial crisis that has hit the, uh, the world basically in the summer of 2007 and that has brought a lot of uh, say problems to us in, in terms of unemployment, in terms of uh, massive state capital injections in the financial institutions and so on. And uh, there have been a lot of responses at various levels of policy making, uh, the level of the G20, Financial Stability Board, the Basel Committee, uh, the IOSCO, but also at, uh, say, the, the regional level, especially in Europe, we have seen a very strong response by the European Union, by the European Commission, in terms of new regulation, in terms of new, uh, say, uh, ways of organizing the supervisory systems of the financial sector. So lots of interesting uh, new initiatives, some of which are coordinated, other ones not completely or not at all. And so there are lots of issues at stake, I think, for not just the operation of financial markets, but also for a number of very fundamental issues of global governance and the interaction between international, European and national uh, supervisory systems. What I'm a little bit afraid of and concerned about is that um, the problem is we act in different ways. And our societies, uh, especially looking at the United States and some of the other G20 countries like China, India, Brazil, uh, looking at the European Union, we all have uh, rather, say, separate, different uh, political systems and our choices and our regulatory decisions after the financial crisis have been going in different directions. So the big challenge is for the future, not just to uh, again have some form of regulatory conciliation between the various systems in the uh, financial uh, markets and the financial supervisory structures, but also how to make sure that we better act together and we make more joint analysis of the problems that we face in uh, the global financial markets.